चलो तो क्लेप्शियल निमोनिया कार्बापेनिमस इट इज नॉट ए कॉमन बग जस्ट लाइक वी सी मारुति कार्स अक्रॉस द रोड दिस कार्बापेनिम्स आर कंसिडर्ड एज लेम्बोर्गिनीज ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक्स ओके सो आफ्टर द एडवेंट ऑफ कार्बापेनिम्स we as doctors become very comfortable that okay we have a bigger ammunition through which we can kill most of the bugs but then just like human beings get modified this bacteria is also get modified okay so basically klebsiella pneumonia is a bacteria which is a gram negative bacteria of the family enterobacteria okay the typical character was that it was a normal bug sometimes a commensal but then gradually with time it has become a mdr bug now mdr bug we had so many other options initially that we were using but why the terminology came as carbapenemis because if we see the molecular structure of carbapenem it's a carbon ring okay five carbon ring which copy paste itself and then we form the carbapenem ring the whole activity of the carbapenem is due to the carbon ring if the carbon ring is intact it will act on the organism if the carbon ring is splitted out broken at any point of time the carbapenem stop working so with this carbapenem enzyme what they do is is they break the carbon ring of the carbapenem ultimately the patient is not being benefited with the antibiotic that you are giving no matter you are giving meropenem imipenem thinking that okay these are higher antibiotics but they will not work so this klebsiella pneumonia carbapenem they are more common in certain varieties of patients they are not common in all the patients they are common in certain varieties of patients patients as uh, just discussed that patients who have received antibiotics in the last 90 days patient who have got a hospital admission history in the last uh, month or last 90 days patient who have got intra abdominal procedures very common intra abdominal procedures surgery done anywhere they are very high prone for kpc infections okay a part of the pneumonia and the urinary infections that are very common prolonged icu stay is definitely one of the reasons so this three four categories of patients will have a high propensity to get the klebsiella pneumonia carbapenemis once you have categorized it okay these patients are at higher risk of kpc as discussed we can prevent those infections but what if the infection has already been happened okay if the infection has already come in the patient then our arms and ammunitions are very limited now you can't use a fluoroquinolone you can't use a beta lactam you can't use a beta lactam inhibitor even you can't use a carbapenem so if we go forward we have very limited options what limited options do we have either we go with something like colistin polymyxin b a combination newer combinations which are coming like ceftazidim avibactam so the there are multiple pathways like uh, multiple algorithms that you need to understand uh, i'm sure these are a bit complicated but i think you should understand try to understand the algorithms rather that whenever a patient comes and whenever you see that okay this patient is a case of klebsiella pneumonia carbapenems how should you approach it first you see the source okay supposedly a patient is having a renal sores you know that polymyxin b is not going to work in that patient because it's a renal sores there's no renal concentration achieved therapeutic at therapeutic level with polymyxin b so that goes out of the picture initially okay now you have to say abdominal source as as discussed just now tg cycline has got a very very good tissue concentration but a very poor serum concentration tissue concentration is good serum concentration is bad so it's very good in cases of intra abdominal infections okay lung infection yes partially 40% 50% lung concentration would be there but definitely not as much as something else maybe ceftazidime maybe it would be a better option so there are multiple the guidelines they say there are multiple combinations of antibiotics that you can use whenever you see a patient of kpc or klebsiella pneumonia carbapenems the first combination that is most commonly used is high dose carbapenem uh, i have seen lot of people okay kpc or carbapenem the first step is stop the carbapenem that should not be the case you can use meropenem even in a kpc the doses goes high how much 2 g iv tds without that 1 g iv tds is not going to work for your patient use a carbapenem meropenem at 2 g iv tds along with a combination of colistin okay these two combinations although there are multiple studies who says that colistin monotherapy versus colistin combination therapy with a carbapenem but most of the time in a country like india i would rather go with a combination because most of the antibiotics has already been tried off 
by the time the patient comes to you so you it's always better to use a combination of high dose carbapenem specifically meropenem 2 gram iv tds with cholestin or what you can use is a high dose phosphomycin even that is a high dose within inverted commas it's not like we'll give 4 gram tds no it has to be in 4 gram almost 4 to 6 hourly so just see we'll reach the highest target of almost like 24 grams in 24 hours okay so you can use you, you can use a high dose phosphomycin one very commonly used drug that you can use is gentamicin 3 to 5 mg per kg body weight you will use gentamicin and it has got an awesome effect on kpcs although people are very very reluctant in using gentamicin isolated but yes the guidelines do say you can use isolated gentamicin for a kpc okay when you are using a combination you can use gentamicin because gentamicin has got very good properties against klebsiella and pneumonia carbapenemase so we can use phosphomycin, you can use gentamicin, you can use TG cycline. TG cycline also again at a higher dosage. Normal dosage may or may not work. It's generally used at 100 milligram IV BD. So all the drugs that we are using is specifically at a slightly higher dosage. So one, you can, the first combination which is most commonly used is high dose meropenem 2 gram IV TDS along with cholestine. If it is an intra-abdominal, you can use TG cycline. If it is renal, you can use phosphomycin you can use gentamicin okay so these are the drugs which are which have been studied a lot and have been widely used for klebsiella pneumonia carbapenemase what more newer drugs newer drugs are coming up lot of newer drugs are coming up ceftazidim avivectum as just ma'am told ceftazidim avivectum is a relatively very good drug for kpcs because the combination is relatively new so only they are more sensitive as of now so ceftazidim avibactam 2.5 gram IV TDS that is the dosage again normally we use BD doses here again we have to use it at a higher doses 2.5 gram IV TDS ceftazidim avibactam with cholestine again a very good combination ceftazidim avibactam cholestine along with gentamicin advanced treatment if we are not finding any basis of why the patient is not improving on a KPC you can you always use gentamicin if within inverted commas keeping in mind the kidneys in consideration there are certain newer antibiotics which probably will be coming in the next 5 years, 10 years and the 15 years which will be of great use theoretically they have already been tried and tested in US and UK. There is something called imipenem relibectum. Okay, imipenem is going to come in combination with relibectum. It, it will have a good effect on uh, Klebsiella pneumonia carbapenemase. There is something called meropenem weberbectum. That is also a combination which some people are using as of now and it will be subsequently available in the market in the next maybe 2 years, 3 years or 5 years. So meropenem weberbectum is also a very good combination for klebsiella pneumonia carbapenemase. We have seen gentamicin, there is a new aminoglycoside which is coming, it is called plazomycin. So plazomycin also have a very good effect, it will be available in the next 2 years, 3 years. It will, be very, it will have a very good effect on uh, klebsiella pneumonia carbapenemase. It is already like in the, in the trials they have, they have already shown. Then there is some other drug called iravacycline. Even that has a very good impact on Klebsiella and pneumonia carbapenemase. So these are coming drugs, coming up drugs, which will be available in the market in the next five years. So, but you should definitely know the name because meropenem we are using now. It, the next combination that is coming up is meropenem with weberbectum. Imipenem we are using every day and night. So imipenem with relibectum is coming up. These are prospective drugs which are proved to be working against Klebsiella and pneumonia carbapenemase. So, Whenever we approach such patients, we have to consider multiple things, the risk factors, the preventions, the management, the management combinations and the strategies. So I think uh, my this uh, short uh, five minute lecture and then ma'am's lecture would definitely contribute a lot to your further management. The next time when you stand by the side of the patient, your mind should remember, okay, these are the combinations that I can use when a patient is having carbapenem resistance. We can clear lot of myths which like a carb is a carbapenemase so we are not using carbapenem it's not like that we can use carbapenems okay combination carbapenems can always be used so these are the myths that we need to clear and these are the combinations that we need to use when we stand by the side of the patient for any patient who is having the growth of klebsiella pneumonia carbapenemase so thank you